where we've got the stakes and the signs. And like, I get crazy sometimes. Like one time I was coming home from something and I saw like two or three spots where I needed a sign and I had like heels and my blazer coming from a form. It was like 9.30 at night and I was just like, I'm just gonna pull over and put it up myself. So my name is Rachel Shavitz. I currently am a postdoc at UNC Chapel Hill. And so that is this weird thing where you're not a student, but you're not completely faculty. You're in this middle ground. And we decided because we're crazy that we loved our town so much, we were going to try to run a campaign so that I could uh, seek a seat on Chapel Hill's town council. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, my name is Rachel Shavitz. I'm running for a seat on Chapel Hill's Town Council. I have always been really involved in my communities, but after our recent national election, like many of you in this room, I'm sure, I felt a new sense of urgency to serve. Especially as a woman and as the mom of a young daughter, I had a new inspiration and drive to do more. And that has brought me here today. I'm also a postdoc and I teach film here at UNC seven meetings in a day maybe, and then August it really kicks up. Look at this, it's like 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 2 to 3.30, <laughs> 10, I mean, 9.15, 10, 12.30, 2.45, 8 p.m. There is a we're definitely not like the ideal, stereotypical, political candidate people. Um, and that's like kind of the main reason I wanted to do it. I felt like serving and running for public office is not something that should be restricted only to people with a lot of time and money, which tends to be folks that are retired or, I don't know, are independently wealthy. I don't know, like, I don't know who those people are, but it's not us, right? I feel like representative government should be representative. There are a lot of people like me. Um, I wanna say about inclusivity, though, I think Alan had a really good point in uh, that when we talk about inclusivity, that doesn't mean you open the door and you hope folks come to the table. It really means you bring the table to them. And if we're gonna be an inclusive town council, that means we need to systematically recruit and include stakeholders from various communities in our town and bring them to the table from the very planning initial stages of any of our town initiatives, and not just invite them. I have moved a million times and, uh, you know, a lot of times it had to do with where my parents' jobs were going to be or what, where the scholarship was for me. So I was on scholarship every degree I got. So I went to NYU for film school. I went to Boston for my master's, full ride to Boston, full ride for my PhD at Temple in Philly. I bounced all over the place. I volunteered for a year in China. I was on location shoots in every conceivable place you can imagine. I've just been kind of all over the place. Town has. And uh, so one way I work really hard to help make sure that task force does its job is to find different ways to encourage citizen participation. We keep hearing about these same 10 people who come to every meeting. I love that 10 people come to every meeting. I want to make it easier for way more than just those 10 people to come to our meeting. Everybody thinks they want to be like Spielberg, basically. Uh, I thought I wanted to be an editor, and I had an advisor at NYU who was like, uh, no, you talk way too much to be an editor. And I was like, what are you talking about? Please like sign my form to take some advanced editing class. And he wouldn't do it, uh, because I think he knew that editing is a really solitary job, and you're holed up in a closet. And I still love editing, but he's right in that I don't think I could have done it for a career. It's not social enough, and I love working with people and collaborating and editing can be. And yet all of the folks who work downtown all day now have a place to go. But I could see the writing on the wall even back then that I wouldn't want to have that life long term. So that's why I decided to go back and get my degree and teach film so I could be involved, be creative, help my students do all kinds of great stuff, but I would be able to like sleep in the same house and have a family and, and do some other life items that I kind of wanted to check off. So I, hopefully I found a way to make it work. Um, and then I could also encourage people to use film for good rather than evil. And so my best advice would be to like check your ego at the door and do what 
you know, not something humiliating or whatever, but like if somebody asks you to get coffee on set for three weeks, you get coffee on set for three weeks and you keep your eyes and your ears open and you watch and you learn and you anticipate what people need. If the camera op needs fill in the blank every hour, be on hand with it and he'll remember that. And if the script supervisor needs something and you remember that she really wants X, Y, and Z and you're there, people being on top of it is the most under uh, appreciated resource possible. Like to just be that person who's paying attention and who's tuned in and is not above it is the best thing you could possibly be. And so that doesn't even matter where you go to school. It doesn't matter how great you are with a camera or whatever. If you're just tuned in and willing to chip in and stay late and come early and do the grunt work that Fancy Pants McGee doesn't want to do, people remember that. And I swear I did it, we all did it, and it paid off because that it's green construction. Then Parasupport or no Parasupport, Chapel Hill is making a clear statement that we value our environment. Thank you.